All right, I'll do this one. This one's my favorite one. So a friend of mine in the audience, his father's a magician. It's true, right? Yeah. That's absolutely 100% true. He can make playing cards and things disappear by saying abracadabra. I can do one better. I can make women disappear. I say, what's your sign? <laughs> Give it for Zach Lewis. Taking me out, Bob. Oh boy, how you guys doing at 11:30 at night? Awesome, energetic, fucking a. It's good to be up here. So, got a couple new things for all of you. So I hope you think they're funny as I did. Um, what happened? I was listening to the radio. Heard an ad for Six Flags. I said if you find yourself in a two-flag scenario, like changing your oil. Drop everything and go to Six Flags. I was like, you could. Or you could take ecstasy. <laughs> like, how the hell else are they going to get this old man to dance to that annoying song? <laughs> they gave that guy pills. And it was actually a young guy. And they put a mask on him. I fucked up the delivery. Wonderful. Moving on to the next thing. Because that sucked. Um, speaking of Six Flags, I got a job at Six Flags for Fright Fest. Basically, the job description is I get to scare women. A very stark contrast from my everyday life. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So, uh, well, uh, I got a bag of cat food. I noticed that on the back of it, it had feeding directions. Like, if your cat weighs so much, give it a certain amount of food. Now, with our childhood obesity problem in America, I can't help but thinking that this would be a good thing to do for kids' food. <laughs> like Lunchables. Like if you're seven years old and weigh over 125, one cracker for you, Chunky! <laughs> That's right, you guys like the mean stuff tonight. Get it, get it. <laughs> Alright, so um, I smoke a lot of weed. Um, where's the weed smokers at? Give it up. <laughs> oh, there's more than I could fit in my car tonight, so I can't make that joke. Shit. <laughs> oh well, everyone has seen my stuff before knows that one. So anyway, uh, weed smokers. I talk with weed smokers, talk to stoners. What I gotta wonder is, when you have this conversation with stoners, why do they always turn it into a competition to see who's been smoking weed the longest? Like one guy will be like, I've been smoking weed since I was 17. And the guy's like, oh yeah? I've been smoking weed since I was 14. Then you always get this one guy that's like, well I've been smoking weed since I was six. Six? Where the hell do you weed when you're six? <laughs> Probably from the same place I did. My dad. <laughs> that's right. These guys over here know my dad, so they know that's true. That's uh, <laughs> moving right along. Uh, I got pulled over for speeding. And I tried to justify it with the fact that there was a good song on. <laughs> like, 70 in a school zone? Sorry, officer. Highway Star was on. <laughs> What a kid! Probably shouldn't have been crossing the street with Deep Purple's on, am I right? Yeah! Apparently I am. This kid, this crowd knows what I'm talking about. Book kids! That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, so, let's get, let's get serious in here. Uh, my ex-girlfriend, she's addicted to cocaine. Very sad. Um, she went to rehab and she cleaned up. She came back and uh, she relapsed. And, like, I refused to believe that she was using again. I actually would like disillusion myself. Like I'd find a bunch of razor blades in the garbage can, I'd be like, damn baby, you're shaving your legs a lot. <laughs> cool, cool, we could drop that one then. Uh, <laughs> or like she'd get a nosebleed, I'd be like, you know you're not supposed to be picking it. Drop that one too, great, great, this joke's going well. Uh, or she'd sell shit to the pawn shop, I'd be like, I never liked that fridge anyway. <laughs> Well, I can keep the third beat then, that's good. <laughs> uh, speaking of cocaine, uh, tough economy out there right now, but I got a money saving tip for all of you. When you're doing cocaine, eat your boogers. <laughs> <laughs> keep those movies coming, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, keep laughing up. <laughs> so I noticed my 11 year old niece got a Facebook profile. <coughs> Not cool. Alright, got me thinking, we need some age limits on Facebook. Like, if you're over 70, 
you gotta go old book. Which as it turns out is just your old high school yearbook. If you're under 18, you have to go to MySpace. <laughs> like, keep your zangy ass glitter graphics and your Miley Cyrus profile song, and get the fuck off Facebook! <laughs> so you grew up and you learned to hate your life, in turn realizing that friendship is nothing more than 300 drunken photos. <laughs> in an album called Girls Night Out. <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> Yeah, my niece, she thinks she hates her life. I'm like, you're in middle school. What could you possibly hate about your life? You wait till you grow up and drop out of community college and become a comedian. Then you talk to me about hating your life. Cool, we'll drop that one too. Awesome. You guys are helping me a lot. I know how to refine my act now. Uh, community college. I do like to tell people I went to college. But in fact, I did go to community college. And that only counts as college because it has the word college in it. <laughs> it's really more like the sequel to high school. Uh, <laughs> that one usually does well. <laughs> Sad face. Uh, I don't know. I dropped out of community college. Good for me. Because uh, it was a big waste of time. It was a waste of money. It was a waste of weed. <laughs> but it was not a waste of effort. Because I did not put any in. <laughs> oh boy, what else? What else? Uh, Facebook. That's right. I am sick of people seeing. I am sick of people seeing. Uh, no, I am sick of people posting these depressing statuses on Facebook. Like uh, my friend posted one the other day. She's like, I can't make anybody happy, even myself. I was just like, maybe if you spent a little less time on Facebook. Oh. Oh uh, no, like, come on, let's go out to the mall, eat you an ice cream. Of course, I left that as a comment on the status, so... <laughs> Boom! Fail! Can I try for one hot one real quick, brother? Right. Cool, great. Um, well, fuck this list, then. Uh, <laughs> do any, I just, I'm just gonna end with this quick question for all of you. For those of you who know it, don't answer and spoil it for everybody else. Do any of you remember the original version of Twitter? called stalking. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, if I had a nickel for every time somebody was informed about me following them, <laughs> I might have had enough to get out of jail. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I am Jack Lewis.